Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in the middle of nowhere in Napa Valley for a very important media drive event. It's for this beast right here. This is it. This is a 2024 GMC Hummer EV SUV 3X. But before we get into this three motor, all wheel drive powerhouse, let's talk about what's going on here. GMC, they are on a rampage, really creating some big waves in the auto industry. They will be, by model year 2024, they will be the only brand to have three different truck style electrified vehicles. What are they? The GMC Hummer EV truck, which we brought to you. I hope you've seen those reviews. They're here on Rady's Rides. We were at the media launch in New York for the GMC Sierra Denali EV. That's here on Rady's Rides. And now number three, it's this GMC Hummer EV SUV. So this is the first drive. We already brought you the first look in an edition one. I'll leave the link of that review at the end of this one. But because this is the first drive, we're gonna talk all about driving specifics and of course the technology that makes it all happen. But of course, with it sitting here, it looks pretty killer. But what about the price at the end of the day is this worth it going for a Hummer EV SUV, especially the top three X trim? Because you'll have Edition 1, those are specific when they launch in the summertime, and then tr the traditional top trim will be 3X, and then it'll work your way down from there. So let's go ahead. We got a 3X, we got the top dog, we got the off-road package on top of that. Let's find out, is this Void Black, that's the name of the color, Void Black, Hummer EV SUV worth the price at the end of the day. Let's go ahead, dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the shape, the style, it really hits the nail on the head over and over again when it comes with that setup compared to the Hummers of the past, especially the H2 and the H3. Now up front, you have full LED lighting. So definitely from a price point, you're getting good technology when it comes to your exterior lighting, especially the daytime running lamp. We have that power all opening front mounted trunk, but the bigger news is we have three electric motors, one up front, two out back. What do they produce? 830 horsepower and get ready for this. I hope you're not eating a Twinkie right now because you might choke on it. 1,300 pound feet of torque. In watts to freedom mode, which is the launch control, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. And guess what? Even though this vehicle weighs over 8,000 pounds, GMC, sa GMC says that it actually has a range of 300 miles. Now at the front, what do we got going on? Massive tow hooks, you're gonna need those for when you're off-roading, especially to pull those lesser SUVs out of the muck, out of the quicksand. Of course, we have the Ultium battery pack, 20 modules, in the belly of this big SUV. And because it has the off-road package, we have five separate steel skid plates protecting all the inner bits underneath. Now, the cool thing about the Hummer EV SUV is just like the truck. It has the air ride adapter suspension. So what does that mean? You could raise it and you could lower it. Now, in the highest setting, which is extract mode, that's when you get stuck on a rock or some type of big you know, log or something like that, you could raise this vehicle almost 16 inches. The way that you're looking at it right now, ground clearance has about 14 inches of ground clearance. When you are ready to launch this thing like a bat out of hell, it lowers the vehicle four inches for watts to freedom. And that's gonna give you that awesome zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Now, when we rise up, like I said, you still got the power mounted front trunk, makes it easy to get in and out of. And then as we come around the bend, there's some other goodies on this 3X because we have the off-road package. Not just the skid plates, which are hard to see because Lori would have to lie down underneath the Hummer and we're not doing that. What is easier to show are the wheels. So in your street mode Hummer, you have 22 inch wheels. These are more off-road specific. 18 inch wheel, gloss black with the machined aluminum. I like the way it's got the H EV badging and the Hummer badge, obviously beadlock and wrap, the rubber wrapped around this 18 inch wheel are gonna be those 35 inch tried and true Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires. They got all the protection in 
the sidewall, and then Lori's gonna show off that air ride suspension. You can see the big, huge canister there, raises and lowers our beefy control arm. And like I said, we have one electric motor up front, two electric motors out back. That means we have an electronic locker up front, and then we have the virtual locker for the rear, which locks the wheels virtually so that they turn at the same time just like it would in a mechanical locker. Now, from the side of the vehicle, you'll be able to notice that this is about 10 inches shorter than the EV truck. Well, what does that do for us? We have a greater apart, uh, approach angle, which means we could get up and over taller objects than the truck, and a greater departure. So that means as we're coming down, we're not gonna get hooked on to anything. And if we do, we do have the five skid plates because we have the off-road mode. Now, I was talking about that Ultium battery pack. Same style setup in the bottom of the SUV, 20 modules. I love the way it's got the real rugged frame sliders, and you have your stationary running boards all built in together. Of course, you're gonna get cameras. There's over 14 cameras all the way around this vehicle, not only up top, but underneath the vehicle. The badging looks good, and then of course, we have those transparent infinity roof panels. So those are all removable, not the doors, just the roof panels, and you could store them in the front. And remember, because this frame is so rigid, even with those roof panels off, you're not gonna get a lot of flex like you would find in other vehicles that you could take the roofs off like Jeeps and Broncos and things like that. Working our way towards the rear, love the way they have that nice flared fender. Two motors out back, one motor for each side of the rear of the vehicle. And then I'm gonna have Lori kind of help me out here. You can see that beautiful flare fender, but look at the way they hide the charge port door very nicely. So she's gonna open that up and I wanna talk about charging. 300 mile range, like I was saying, if you're using a level two charger, you could go from 20% battery life to 100% battery life in eight hours. If you're using a DC fast charger, you could charge 100 miles in 14 minutes. So really nice the way they have that versatility for your charging capability, and it's real easy to get to. I like the way it's just like, K -k -k, you charge, and then you're ready to rock and roll. We close it up, and then at the back of the vehicle, you can see that real chop top setup, the rear glass drops. So you could have a total open air experience with the roof panels off, drop the rear glass, love the way they do all of the lighting, and then of course, you have your digital rear view camera. As we kind of drop down, I wanna showcase how we have our full towing capability, all the hookups, another tow hook out back, and you can see the beefy control arms to get that power to the ground. But you know what? Let's go ahead. We talked about a lot of the technology on the outside. Let's get inside and talk about the technology and the price of this Hummer EV 3X. Alright guys, we're in this sinister black 
GMC Hummer EV SUV, the 3X with the off-road package. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is the one I've been waiting for. I had an H2, I drove it right into the ground. I have not been able to really satisfy that Hummer need since 2007 when mine blew up. I am loving what GMC has done with the Hummer name and it's electrified as well, but how much is it? Very good question. This being a 3X with the off-road package and the rest of the goodies, you're looking at an MSRP of $112,000. Let's see what you get for the money and if it adds up to the door panels. I like the clean style just like from the truck. So you got a lot of Hummer badge name plates on it. The two-tone really brings the door panel alive. And then guess what? That door pocket is ginormous. You could easily get two elephant ears in there and a freaking fried Twinkie, a deep fried Twinkie from the California State Fair. And then guess what? We got the Bose sound system with a nice lunar map on the speaker grill cover. Going from the door panel to the dash, it reminds your passenger they're in a Hummer EV with that nice touch up top. I love the anodized finish. Simple, clean, that's all you need. Come to the center stack, lots of technology. Well over 13 inches, so a baker's dozen of screen size. And look at all of the different readouts you could get. Pitch, roll, love the way it could show the action. Remember, you got 13 inches of wheel travel per corner, G meter. And then if you're wondering, well, what's all this across the bottom? These are auxiliary switches built into the infotainment system. So if you want to add a winch, if you want to add extra lighting or a train horn, you could do that and then hit the button and activate whatever you hooked up to it. Really, really nicely done. This is your standard readout setting. It even has a compass. So if you can't remember which direction you're going in, altitude, your drive modes, and then did somebody say cameras? Because guess what? We got well over 14 cameras, resolution, clear as day. We keep running down the line, even air down mode. So you could, because the air ride suspension is a closed circuit system, you could actually air up and air down your tires. So when you're on the road, you want to have a higher PSI in each tire. But when you go off-road and you want to grip the gravel, you can lower it right from the driver's seat. That's something that Jeep owners have been dreaming about having, you could have it in this GMC. Working your way down, you got your dual climate control. I like the way they do the heated and ventilated seats because you hit one toggle switch and then it's not a touch screen. You actually go like this and then you hit the toggle switch to go through whatever you want. Heated seat, ventilated seat, and then you make it go bye-bye. Real clean. Of course, you got your heated steering wheel. You got that virtual rear locker. You can lock the front and do the virtual lock on the rear. The nice AC vents, storage capacity. So easily you could put your Joe Namath football down here, signed and everything, and it's not gonna get a scratch on it. We have our flat gray, sort of almost like a charcoal gray finish. Open this up. Of course we got wireless charging. And I like the way it's got USB A and C because not everybody has a C cord with them. So it's nice to have the A as well. Close it up. Two cup holders with some cables. We came prepared here on Rady's Rides for the first drive. You don't want to close it like that because that causes problems. Watch this. You just tuck it in. This is your shifter for the direct drive transmission. We got our mode selector switch, and that showcases the different modes. And then look at this nice neoprene material high up on the armrest. Open it up. Here's our key fob. I do like the way it's Hummer specific, GMC. Spin it around. You could open up everything. You could even turn it on. We got a nice little party tray here. Easily put some pistachios, maybe some honey roasted. And then guess what? You got a 12 volt and enough room. I would say for at least one big bowl of California guacamole because California avocados have a very unique taste. Highly recommend. We went to this taco place down the street. I think I ate more guacamole than I did my whole life. Seats, love the material, 
Hummer EV. And don't worry, this isn't even going to touch your back. I know some people were asking, well, is this going to burn into my back on a hot summer day? No, it's not. But I like the bolstering. Full electric assist for the passenger. Obviously, same for the driver. We got the Infinity transparent roof. And then I want to show you a little something special. It's not the digital rearview mirror, so to speak. It's what's right above it. This is the switch to raise and lower the rear glass on that swing out style cargo door back there to get into our cargo area. Kind of cool. Why don't you come over here? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Hummer EV. All right, guys, here we are, business time behind the wheel. You do get two memory seat settings, so if you're crazy enough to let one of your friends borrow your Hummer EV SUV, they can have their own setting and not screw up your seat setting. Down below, you do have a very simplistic sill plate, which for some reason still has the PDI film on it. So now we just perfected that, and that's what it looks like when you buy it. For an extra five horsepower, we have all weather floor mats that we needed for this first drive. And like I said, please excuse the mud and the dirt, but out here in California, I don't have my cleaning supplies and we still gotta get the work done. Seat controls within fingertip reach. And I dig the seats. They're not like these weird lazy boy seats. They're comfy, but also supportive at the same time. And even with the chop top look of this SUV, plenty, it's like good and plenty of space in here. Steering wheel, a great space to put your hands. Of course, you're gonna have that semi-autonomous super cruise feature. Love the leather, flat black on everything. You see this old guy right here, this paddle? This is for you to do regen braking on the fly. And you could actually come to a complete stop by just hitting this paddle and not the actual brake pedal. 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Right now we have it in digital mode. But watch this, you could actually change up the display layout. So we hit display layout, we go to off-road. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at that, we got off-road gauges. What about sport? You're feeling a little sporty, you pop your collar on your polo shirt. Now you can feel a little sporty. You got the power gauge across the top and everything. But it's really nice. You could even do lunar. So if you've ever wished that you were Neil Armstrong, not Lance Armstrong, I don't know if many people want to be him, but if you ever want to be Neil Armstrong and land on the moon, you could have the lunar set out reading, which is really cool while you're driving. Lots of information to display. One thing I'm a little shocked, no pun intended since this is a electrified vehicle, is there's no head up display. WTF, and I'm not talking about what's the freedom mode. So that's definitely a zonk. But let's go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be satisfied with the money that you spent on this electrified SUV. All right, guys, back seat time. And what's great about this being an electrified vehicle is not only do you have that great flat space for the people sitting up front, the driver and the passenger, we have that nice flat floor, really maximizes the space in the rear. Large pockets, easily put four empanadas back here. We do have our AC controls. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And that's another WTF moment in this Hummer. And that's a big zonk, especially uh, living in Florida. USB-C, USB-A, nice AC vents. Of course, we have a nice California hot dog holder here. Two hot dogs, California style. What does that mean? We got pureed pineapple on top of our diggity dog. And then, of course, on the bottom portion, you have your plug-in home power source. Like I said, plenty of room. Now the seats, they do recline and I have them in full recline mode. So that's a little bit more upright, but this is what the Zonk is. WTF, why do I have to reach behind the seat? It would be nice to have some kind of handle, but the great news is you can literally fit three adults. I'll pull this down real quick to show you the uh, neoprene material on the armrest, but watch this. I'm six feet tall, and here I am. I feel good. I feel comfortable. Even with the eye brace for the transparent roofs when they're removed, it feels good back here. But why don't we go ahead, let me show you some cool things with the cargo area in this GMC Hummer EV SUV. All right, guys, cargo area time. I put the rear glass down, nice power sliding rear glass. And then just like the glass, power opening door. We hit that button. It swings out nicely, and that's where you're going to be greeted to 
almost 30 cubic feet of space. If you want to see all the details on this back cargo area, you got to watch the first look review, which is at the end of this one. But you know what? We're here to drive. It's all about that first drive. You hit the button. Look at how nice that closed. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get charged up and go on throttle in this Hummer EV SUV. All right, guys, we switched over to the 3X in the full black paint job, looking really sinister. And right away, I feel the difference between where we went from the Moonstruck green to now this void black model. It has the off-road wheels and tires. You can feel how it's a little bit softer of a ride because of the 35 inch tires and the smaller 18 inch wheel, but still you're getting that same great performance. And it's just fascinating, of course, how much power is being produced with this SUV. I'm going to come to a stop. Nobody's behind us and we're going to go on throttle to see how this thing accelerates. Get ready for the nose to shoot to the sky. On throttle. Here we go. Love the way it tilts back and we are off like a rocket. Really, really incredible how that instant torque puts you back in your seat, pulls the front of the nose up and we are off and rocking and rolling. All right, guys, once again, on the damp road, on throttle, here we go, getting the power to the ground. And this is actually a really good way to showcase how capable the SUV is because we are on this tight, twisty road, and I feel good. It's like the way that the proportions are of the vehicle, you could really get an idea of where the front corners are and then out the back and the side mirrors does a really good job to let you know where is the vehicle situated in the lane and at no time do i really feel like i'm in too big of a vehicle which is crazy when you think of the size and of course the weight of this vehicle but with that air suspension really allows all the bumps to be soaked up. And of course, this isn't a corner carver, but remember, because you have that Ultium battery pack in the belly of this SUV, it helps lower the center of gravity, which in return allows you to handle better than what you think. And that's really, I think, the biggest surprise for many people is not so much the torque, I mean, once you get on throttle a couple times, you know what that electric motor is capable of with that instant 13, almost 1300 pounds of torque. But I think the bigger surprise is just how nimble it is for not only an SUV, but also a SUV that weighs over 8,000 pounds. I'm really liking the way that they designed the windshield just like on the truck that rectangular kind of shorter style just gives it a unique feel and i think more so than ever before this suv reminds me of the old h2 and h3 hummers but going down this tight twisty road with the four wheel steer Obviously, we got the three electric motors giving us all-wheel drive. I mean, look at this. Nice tight corners. Not white knuckling the steering wheel. It's nice and smooth. And very responsive, like I said, for a larger vehicle. We're actually going uphill. So we're going higher up in elevation. And that's another thing you gotta remember. For those of you that live in a higher elevation, that's where an electric vehicle is gonna show its, its worthiness because if you have an internal combustion engine, the higher you go, the less oxygen you have in the air and that robs you of horsepower. Whereas with the electric motor, you don't have to worry about that. I think another thing that I'm really enjoying about the Hummer EV SUV is the regen braking, of course. 
and the fact that it doesn't have a bunch of corny sound to it. There's not like this truck sound that's being produced by the speakers or anything like that. You just get a nice little hum and that's all you really need. And then finally, I think another feature that you're really gonna enjoy is being able to access the brakes by using that toggle switch on the back of the steering wheel. It allows you to do all your braking without even touching the brake pedal, which is pretty cool. None of the other brands have that kind of technology in there. All right, guys, we are in San Francisco going down the famous Lombard Street. Really, really showcases just how nimble we are probably one of the largest vehicles on this road. And it just shows how nimble it is with the rear wheel steer. Makes easy work of this famous street. And this is the technology and the engineering behind this Hummer EV SUV. Just phenomenal. There's a guy in a Tahoe, a couple cars in front of me, and, and you can see him really struggling, whereas me, I'm able to actually outmaneuver this Toyota Corolla that's in front of me. So great to be able to just go off-road, on-road, highway, back roads, and Lombard Street here in San Francisco. But the ease and the cameras, look at how nice the cameras are showing what's in front of me. So I'm not freaking out one bit and it just makes it a piece of cake. Boy, oh boy, what a crazy ride and drive. Our first one in this Hummer EV SUV the technology, the performance, this really is a way for GMC to flex their electric muscle and show what is possible with these vehicles. But first of all, we need to thank the whole GMC team for having us here in Napa Valley so that you could get a taste of the Watts to Freedom, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. But let me know what you truly think in that comment section. Is this worth the price at the end of the day for an SUV and what you're getting especially let me know how you feel about the charging and how long it takes to charge put that in the comment section but if you knew the channel you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radius rise family of course we need to give it up to the person that electrifies everybody's life especially with her amazing camera skills show lori some love in that comment section thank you lori for all that you're doing just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride